Alright YouTube, well, um, New York Tractor Office requested a video on all the equipment I have. So this will be all the equipment I have as of September 12th, 2012. Um, so here's the Steel FS110, which I actually got it running. It wasn't running very well. I had to adjust the carburetor a little bit. Um, but I still may take it to the dealer because every time you go to start it, you have to take the air filter off because the, I don't know, the air filter is always wet with gasoline and it's just always you go to cold start and it's just always wet with gas so you have to take the air filter off um this wasn't running the best i used it today though and i've been and it runs all right and that's the bc2600 here's the gz25n um which uh what do you call it uh, jones burn 85 has a gz23n which is smaller um what's his name, 944-own had uh, got this trimmer off of Craigslist, one like this. So, uh, a little shout out to him. Um, next is the John Deere mower, which I got this from a customer for free. Like I said, I got this in April, actually. Um, I believe it's a Kawasaki, 5.5 horsepower, 5 speed, 21 inch, got the blade control on it. Um... It's nice, except the wheel got bent from a guy that was working with us. He broke that, and he broke the knob off the side when he hit it against the mower. And then, here's the Skag Tiger Cub. 26 horsepower, 48 inch. It's got the Briggs & Stratton engine on it. Uh, the only thing that's not here right now is the Red Max G2K, the HC150 hedge trimmer, and the PB413H, because my dad's out with them right now. Um... Next, oh yeah, you guys haven't seen this ever, I don't think. Here's the log splitter, some of you guys were wondering. And yes, I do have a log splitter. It's really, ooh, spider on there. Um, it's really old. I don't know how old it is. It, well, a while ago, we, it was sitting in the weeds for a while, like in 08. And then we were, we got some bigger logs. We weren't doing a lot of splitting before that, we were just using wedges. So we said, well, let's try and pull it out and get it started fired right up, never had to do anything. The only thing we did when we got it running was put a new air filter in it, change the fluid, and uh, takes automatic transmission fluid, which I actually have to change the oil and change the fluid and the filter on it. But it is a Didier log splitter. It came from uh, Agway, and uh, so it's got a five horsepower brake and a really good log splitter. Um, got a lot of power. It's got the wedge and everything, so yep, I got a log splitter. Um, runs very well. Um, never had any problems with it. So, um, well, let me go over here then. <clears throat> Dump trailer. Um, here is a giant vac leaf vacuum, which I don't know if you guys ever seen these before, but this is an easy vac leaf vacuum. It's like 25 years old that we've had for a while and we always use for leaves and this I got for free in the spring it is a giant vac which just came from a there's a cemetery next to us and they decided not to vacuum any more leaves in the cemetery so they decided they're just gonna give it to us and so I got it and this little pipe here which is a little piece of metal they haven't given us yet that goes to hold the hose well when they had this I actually welded that right at the bottom there but it broke again so um so yeah it's got the Bruggen Stratton Industrial Plus engine the only thing is this is hose is a little skinnier so this may plug up more that's got a bigger hose that's like an 8 inch hose this is a 6 inch hose um so it runs good he just said I need to change the oil and I definitely need to put the bolts need to be tightened because you can see they got them double nut and they said you have to just make sure you keep an eye on them. Then they also gave us this little trailer that goes, it's a little leaf vacuum, it's got this here on it. A little tube and it runs off the mower deck. Oh, here's the Simplicity Garden tractor. And what it is, is just, you have to buy this pulley, it's a special pulley. It looks like this, only there's two pulleys. And there's a boot that goes on the side, kind of like a X mark vacuum or a Skag vacuum. And it runs off of there. I'll show you the boot, or the fan boot in the shed in a minute. So that, uh, they gave us that. But they haven't given us, um, I 
think I may have to buy the pulley, or maybe I can get him to give it to us, but, uh, here's the lawn boy. We don't use it much, because it's, uh, doesn't have the bagger. We lost the bagger a while ago, and, uh, it runs good, though. So, um, now let's take a walk into the shed. Oh, yeah, and here's the walk-behind mower. Right there, Skag walk-behind mower. I need to get a Velky for that. There's the Kubota L35. And under here is an Alice Chalmers garden tractor, which looks exactly like the Simplicity. They have the same engine. And it wasn't running. And uh, so I needed a lift cable for the implement lift. So I used the Kubota and I flipped this thing upside down to get the cable off so it was easier. And I said, well, let me try working on it. Because a while ago I tried to start it and it wouldn't turn over. Turns out there was just some wires loose and the battery terminals were a little corroded. So I put the garden tractor battery in it and uh, I was able, I was cranking it and cranking it and then finally it started up after a little bit. So I bought a new air filter for it. The only thing that's stopping me from running it right now is I need a new gas cap which I just have a bag over the top but the here's the tire but it was really messed up because we needed a valve stem for the other tractor. And this actually tire had a tube in it, but I bought the valve stem, but I said, uh, you know what, this tire is just way too messed up. Like, I, had to, I had to take the tire off the rim to get the valve stem in, but this tire was just so messed up that it punctured holes around the bead. We had to just rip it off the bead, and so I said, you know what, it's all dry rotted, so I'm just going to buy a new tire. So I still have to get that new tire, and once that, then I'm just ready to go with it, so... Here's an old mower deck, which is not really any good, and there's the wheel weights, and, uh, wheelbarrow. And now here's the Red Max chainsaw. Um, there's the Echo PB265L. There's the Mantis Rototiller. Um, there's the Arians Edger. Uh, some electric hedge trimmers, the old Echo HC150. And actually... I don't know, my dad actually prefers using electric hedge trimmers when he's trimming for a long time. I guess because they're lighter. But uh, here's the extension cord, so there's the Red Max saw, like I said. Oh, and the steel chainsaw, he has that with him too. And here's the fan boot, it's got the fan on the inside. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I got. Um, for... To be honest with you guys, as far as equipment wise, you know, I've been having problems with the steel equipment. I don't think I'm going to be buying any more steel equipment. The Red Maxes isn't, aren't too bad. The only thing I'm going to try next is a uh, EBZ 8500. I'm going to get in the fall because my dealer told me uh, I was originally going to buy a, a steel. And he says, well, I'll let you come over and you guys, he said, I can take the Red Max for a day or two and try it out so I'm gonna do that this fall he told me that in the spring and then if I like it I'm gonna buy it the, or I'm gonna buy a new one I'm not gonna he has a demo one he's gonna let me take but if I like it then I'm gonna buy a new one um but I'm not sure oh there's some firewood by the way um but that's what um that's what I'm gonna do but oh like I was saying about the weed whackers I don't know like <laughs> And like in the cemetery next to us, all they ever use is echo trimmers. And they're trimming non-stop, like at full throttle. And they always have used echoes. And they have like the old, old ones like they've had for like five or six years. And uh, even though this one is old and the G2K is about 15 years old. But um, the newer ones just aren't really... This one has a little problems ever since we got it. Um... So, we are thinking about just going with Echo Weed Whackers, and, uh, I'm thinking about just buying everything, all my equipment from Home Depot. Like, I'm looking at a handheld blower, because, um, I'm probably going to go with the Husqvarna 125B, just because it's a small blower, and it's professional use, obviously. It's made for professional use, but, one thing I'm going to try from, because, well, I was going to buy a Red Max handheld blower... But well, then I was telling my dad, and we were thinking, you know, you can't really return it to a dealer if you don't like it. So we were just thinking maybe we will just buy stuff from Home Depot and Lowe's. And, uh, yeah, so we're just going to think maybe start doing that. I'm just going to try. The last thing I buy from a dealer is going to be a 
Red Max 8500. Because actually the 150 BT Husqvarna, they're practically the same amount of power, just a difference of a few CFM, which isn't very much. Um, but yeah, so, what do you call it? Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to do that. And uh, like even some stuff out there like oil filters for the walk behind and the skag here. They look like the same oil filter because we've been buying Stems oil filters because that's all you can really get. But they have Briggs & Stratton air filters which say John Deere on them but they look like the same one. And this has a number that lists uh, what the Stems oil filter replaces for Briggs & Stratton oil filters. So I'm going to compare the numbers if, if that's the case. And I'm just going to start buying even like the Kohler air filters for the John Deere's. Look exactly like the Kohler's that go on the garden tractor. So uh... Yeah, next I'm going to do a video on the trailer, so watch that video and let me know what you think. See you guys.